Hello, everybody, and welcome to booklet Proportional Reasoning 2. It's yellow, and we're starting on page 10. Down here, you see page 10. Make sure you're on the right page. Looks like this. This page is actually homework, so put homework on top, and you need to do that by yourself. I'll get you started here. Complete each sentence. A dollar is how many cents? It's 100 cents. Find percent of a number in sect. Okay, we've done that. Find the following percents of a dollar. I'm just going to give you one item here. 10% of a dollar is 10 cents. So these are really easy. You just put in the cents. 25% of a dollar is 25 cents. Very easy. So you do the top. Number 12, a meter is 100 centimeters. So one meter is 100 centimeters. Make a few more tick marks and label the centimeters. Okay, so I will get you started on that one. So your tick marks need to be evenly spaced. It's kind of tricky. You can start out with, let's start out with 25, which is halfway between zero and 50. So you got to cut this in half exactly, right? So it's I measure and I coordination, and this is 75, half between 50 and one meter or 100 centimeters. Then you can, um, from here, I'm gonna go by fives. I'm gonna try to make four evenly spaced tick marks. One, two, three, four. They're kind of, nope, don't like it too well. One, two, kind of like that. And so one is five, 10. So I'm going by fives. Otherwise you won't fit your numbers. So you're going to finish this scale here. You keep going up by fives, make sure their tick marks are somewhat evenly spaced. They cannot be one big one and one smaller one because each length represents five on the number line. So then it's the same length, right? So you finish that and then down here, it says write the letter on the meter stick above that represents the percent of the way. So 100% of course is down here. And then let me take 50% is right here. And so on and so forth, 75% is right here, easy. The main thing is to get these numbers down right. A lot of students have trouble with that. How are finding cents in a dollar and finding centimeters on a meter stick related? Well, that's for you to figure out, okay? I would say they're all out of 100. 100 cents, 100 centimeters. So this is number 10, finish that for homework. We're moving on to page 11. Actually, this is also homework. It's something that you can do on your own without me helping you. I just get you started. Estimate, what I do is I read the question. Complete the problems below, obviously, right? Estimate how full each container is using percents. This is totally full, so what do you think? 100%, right? This is about half, what do you think? 50% is half. Now you guys decide what are these, what percent, it's an estimate, okay? So that's your job. Suppose that when full, each container holds 800 ounces of liquid. Now they're telling us an amount in here. Otherwise we don't know the amount. Percent is really not telling us an amount. So it, each one, each container holds, when it's full, 800 ounces of liquid. By the way, listen to audio. I, I see a lot of students just copying. You have to listen, okay? Suppose that when full, each container holds 800 ounces of liquid, how many ounces do you estimate are in each container? Well, this one is definitely full, so it's 800 ounces. How much do you think this one is? How many ounces? How many ounces here? It's an estimate. Estimate. So it's not totally, and your answers go right here. This one says 100%. OK. 
Okay, container A has 100%. You decide here. So you're putting your answers here. Now suppose these containers hold 900 ounces of liquid. How many ounces do you estimate in each or in each container? Okay, we're changing it to 900. When it's full, so you decide how many in here, how many ounces in here, and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, down here. Fill in the blanks below with appropriate words or numbers to come. So it's words, words or numbers. That's hard to say for German. To complete each percent statement, finding 100% of the volume of a container. Volume is how much it holds. So it holds the volume here is 900 ounces. Yeah. Finding 100% of the volume of a container is the same as finding. What do you think? What's the word? I'm going to insert all for you, all of it. And then you guys fill in the rest, yeah? So I want you to see there's the numbers or words, whichever one is appropriate, okay? So I'll do the last one for you. Finding 10% of something is the same as finding one tenth of it. Or you can write it out, one tenth. This is the same as multiplying by, actually it's multiplying by zero point. So when you multiply, you change the percent to a decimal. Yeah. So you can multiply by 0 0.1 or dividing by 10. Okay, 10% of 40 is when you divide by 10, so you have two choices. Let me write them out. You can do 1.0 times 40 equals four, or you can do 40 divided by 10. It's also four. The key is it's four dollars. Ten. Now fin have you finished this? Okay. So finish this page by yourself. I give you a few hints. Then we're on page twelve. This is also homework. My goodness, you're going to be busy, but I'll get you started. For one and two, answer the questions. Obviously, right? Then put. For parts A and B, show your work or explain your reasoning. What is 10% of $50? 0 0.1 times 50 is 5. So the 10% needs to be changed to a decimal by moving your decimal two spaces to the left. Yeah, always two, either to the right or to the left. Obviously, to make it decimal, we're going to move it to the left. Use this result to find 20% of 50. Well, 20% is double. So it should also be double money, yeah? Use this result to find 5%. Well, 5% is half of 10%. So you divide that number by two. So those are the clues. And here again, 10% of 200 meters, I showed you how to find that up here. Use a calculator if you must, okay? Okay, now down here, you're going to look at this picture. A rectangular container holds 600 ounces of liquid when full. I like labeling my stuff so I know what's going on. Use the picture if it's helpful and determine how much liquid makes the container, what a word, makes the container or is in the container. So if it's 50% full, where would it be? Obviously here, right? So you can draw and put 50% and so on and so forth. Decide where you have to add more marks. You gotta add for 15, you have to kind of figure out where it is. And it's an approximation. 
Yeah, it's an approximation. What would it mean for the container to be 150% full? Anything over 100%? starts a new container. It's like one and a half container. So it's one and a half containers full. How much liquid would it contain? Okay, that's a good question. One has 600 and how much is a half a container in add? So I'm just giving you a clue here. Do you think this is possible? What do you think? Can we fit one and a half containers into this one? It's not possible, explain that. It's kind of already telling you. Okay, right here, My, the answer is already here. So that's page number 12, moving on to page 13. This is like filling in all, oh, this is actually uh, notes and homework. So put on top. I'll get you, we will, I'll get you started. Finding percents of quantities using chunking strategies. No idea what that is. We will use the word chunking to describe a mental math process so it's mental math, not calculator, of composing and decomposing, putting together and taking apart numbers to make calculations easier. A lot of times that's, I know what it is, but it's used when you multiply. If you say 15 times um, six, the chunking would be 10 times six is 60 plus five times six, is 30, 60 plus 30 is 90. So you're taking it apart into chunks. That's when I do that mostly chunking, yeah? 10 times six plus five times six. Anyways, um, complete the tables below, use division. So the key here is division. I'm reading my instructions and chunking to compute. Be ready to explain your strategies. So we're not really using a calculator right here. So you have $30, 10% of 30 is $3. You can just divide it by 10. 30 divided by 10 is three, yeah? 5% means it's half of that. So half of 10% is 5%, so that's $1.50. 15% is three times the 5%, so I'm connecting it to the previous one. 5%, 15, 5% 15. goes into 15 three times, so it has to be three times this. So then that means times three, that's 450. I can do that in my head. I don't know if you can, but I would love for you to do it in your head. 20%, I'm not connecting it to five, I'm connecting it to 10. So I'm gonna go back over here because 10 goes into 20 twice. So it has to be twice this amount, which is $6. So I'm connecting or chunking these together to double them, triple them. Sometimes we can cut them in half and then mentally I can do that in my head. Hopefully you can too. If you can't use a calculator by heaven for, for all heaven's sake, because otherwise you'll never get there. So we have $150, $10%. Here's a quick way. When you divide by 10, you just cross cancel the common zeros. 15 over one is 15. Very quick. 5% is half of 10%. So it's half of that. That's proportional reasoning. 15% is three times this, you see? So it has to be three times that, which is 2250, I believe, yep. I already worked these out ahead of time. And then 20%, I'm connecting to the 10%. So that's twice the 15. So that's got to be 30. So I want you to finish these for homework. These three. You can do that right now. Pause the video. Get those done.
Okay, so I'm going down here. I'll get you started. This one I didn't prepare, so I'm going to do that. Try to do that real quick. 80 games, so it's not money. 10% is eight games. Because I'm dividing by 10. Cancel common zeros. Eight divided by one is eight. Five percent is half. Oh, half of ten. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I'm connecting it with the ten, so that's four games. Proportional. Fifty percent is. Actually, you can just do half of 80, half of 80, which is 40 games. So I'm not going to connect it to the 10. I'm just going to shorten it, G. 25% is half of that, of 50. 25 is half of 50, so it's got to be half of that. There you are. And you're going to finish this, this, and this. If you have questions, we'll go over it in class, OK? Some challenges. Ah, 1%. OK, we have $200. 1% is divided by 100. Cancel common zeros. 2 over 1 is 2. Half percent. This is half of 1. Zero point five percent is half of one percent, so it's half of two dollars. One point five percent is um, three times one half, so it's three times this. So I'm connecting these two. Yeah, so it's three dollars. So I'm using this and multiplying it by three. This times three is 1.5, this times three is three. 150 is more than what we started with. <clears throat> I'm going to multiply 1% times 150. So two times 150 is $300. So when it's over 100%, it's going to go over the original amount. So I want you to do 11 and 12 and try that yourself right now. That was page 13. Um, this, oh, down here, describe a situation for finding a percent greater than 100%. Sometimes they um, increase a cost of something by they triple the amount of what it used to cost. So then it would be a 300% increase, tripling something. It makes sense in, when, when things go up or go down. Sometimes they become cheaper. Rarely do they become cheaper. So that was page 13. And now we're on page 14, practice. Practice is usually an indicator. It's homework. Same practice as before, find 10%. Six minutes, 5%, half of that. 5%, so I'm connecting these two columns. 15% is three times, so that's nine minutes. 15% is three times 5%, so that has to be three times as well. 30%, I'm going to connect with 10%, or I can double this. I can do that. 30 is double of that, so that's 18 minutes. 1% is dividing by 100, and that means it's 6 over 10. Or when you divide 6 divided by 10, that gives you the decimal, 0 0.6. OK, so go ahead and do all these. And then um, 
This one is a little tricky. So I'm gonna give you a clue on number six. Solve each percent problem below by junking. Show your work clearly. The local sales tax. So sales tax is what gets added on when you buy something, they add on tax on each item, unless it's warm, unless it's cold food, unless it's groceries. So sale tax depends on the city. Each city has its own percent of sales tax. And um, hang on a minute. Oh, shoot, I should, uh, wait, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, I took a little break. So um, we're back to number six. Sales tax is added on. It's always a percent depending on the city that you live in. So for example, El Cajon has, um, different sales tax than Santee if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot that makes a difference in both cities when you buy a lot of stuff okay so the local sales tax in Los Angeles in the beginning of 2017 was nine percent that's added on nine percent of what you're buying how much was tax on the sixty dollar jacket easy um you can do this you can since we're doing chunking and not using a calculator, you can find 1%. Here's how to do it. And then multiply by nine. So $60, 1% would be divided by 100, which is six over 10, which is 0 0.60 cents. This is cents. Six divided by 10 is 0 0.6. And then you're multiplying that by nine. Six times nine is 54. So it's $5 and 40 cents. All without a calculator, just by multiplying and dividing simple numbers. Okay, so this is the tax add it on to your price. Um, what was the total cost of the jacket, including tax? Well, you add the 60 plus 5.40. And then add that together. So that's $65 out the door and 40 cents all together total. Okay, now this is um, an off. So you subtract, find 1% and then subtract because it's not adding, it's subtracting. Yeah, $40, there's a $35 off sale. So find, you always find 1% and multiply by 35. And then you subtract because it's not adding. Here we add it, you would subtract it from 40. Okay, I'm gonna do, this is it for help on this page. Okay, I didn't give you the answers in number seven. I gave you the answer in number six. Number six is done, just to show you, okay? Now we're on page 15. So this is notes. This is a long lesson, I better cut it short. Follow your teacher's directions to learn about percents and double number lines. So number zero means no percent. It's always starting out zero. The number is, mm, oh, here's the question. What is, I have to give you a question. 40% of, 24. Okay, one way is to simply multiply 0 0.4 times 24 in your calculator, but we're not using a calculator, okay? So we're going to use a number line. So I'm going to go up by, I'm going to, so it's 40% is down here. Let's do 10%, 20, 30, 40, here's where we want it, right? And then 10% of 24 is 10% of 24 is 
of 24. Wait, this is wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's what is 40% of 60? Fix it. Hmm, the answer is 24. I already gave you the answer now. I messed up. Teachers mess up, okay? The question is, what is 40% of 60? So 10% of 60 is 6, because you're dividing this by 10. 20 is double. 30 is double, triple of 10, so that's 18. 40 is 4 times this, it's 24. So this is the number you're looking for. This is proportional reasoning, yeah? This doubles, this up here has to double. This triples from 10 to 30. This has to triple. Triple means times three. 40 is four times is 10. So this has to be four times six, which is 24. We can stop there for that answer. And it is 24. So that's our answer. Now here's another question. We can use that number line too. What is 15% of 60? So we're gonna go to between here, 10 and 20%, halfway in between is 15%. So I'm adding that in here, I'm squeezing it in here. So that has to be, see how it's 10, 15, 20? It has to go up by half. So halfway between six and 12 on the number line, what number is that? I believe it's a nine, correct? Six, nine, 12. So it's half between 10 and 20, means half between six and 12. So that's the answer nine. So that's how you can use these number lines. I'm gonna give you the rest for homework. So here's the question on that one, a little tricky, 15, this is the number, 15, is what percent of 50? See if you can figure that out. You're looking for percent, yeah? And the last one is question 24 is 60% of what number? See if you can figure it out. If not, I'll help you in class, okay? I'm gonna show you another way to do this, but then we'll use the calculator. So this was page 15, move on to page 16. That page is homework. And then we have page 17. Page 17 is notes. Try these computational strategies to find 20% of 50. Multiply 50 by 20 over 100. So you can do cross cancel this, cross cancel this, any common zero. So you have five times two over one, and then that would be 10. 50 times 20, so 20% 20 of 50 it doesn't look, yeah, is 10. Multiply 50 by 0 0.2 is um, the same thing, 10. Another way, 20% of 50 is 10. Use a calculator to compute so you do 0 0.2 times 50 is 10. Multiply 320 by what over 100? Um, I crossed that out. Mm, what are we trying to find? Oh, here it is, find 5% 5 
of 350. So we're going to multiply it by 5 over 100. That's 5%. So 320 over 1 times 5 over 100. Cross cancel any common zero. 32 times 5, I believe, is 160 over 1, which is 160. 5% of 3 is 160. No, that doesn't look right. Absolutely not. Miss K, what did you do? What did you do? That is way too big. I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, so we have 320. 5% is 5 over 100. 320 times 5 over... Oh, it's 10. There's a 10 down here. So we're crossing out these and these. See how teachers make mistakes as well. And 16 over one is 16. So that's one way. Multiply 320 by 0 0.05. I'm just gonna use a calculator. 0 0.05, 5% times 320. Use your calculator should be 16. So find the percent of each number, complete one problem to the right using multiplication, use a calculator for the rest. So it's 60 times nine over 100. You can cancel the common zeros. Six times nine is 54 over 10. Dividing by 10, move your decimal back one space. 28% is 0 0.28 times 60. Use a calculator. Where is my calculator? Don't have it. Oh, there it is. 0 0.28 times 60. Sixteen point eight. Eighty-seven percent of one hundred and ten. One hundred and ten times eighty-seven over one hundred. Make it over one. Cancel common zeros. Eleven times eighty-seven. I can't do that in my head. Is nine hundred and fifty-seven over one times ten is ten. That means it's ninety-five point seven. 2% is 0 0.02 times 110. It is 2.2. Sales tax in Los Angeles rose to 9.25%. What was the sales tax on a phone that costs 325, I'm just gonna use multiplication 9.25, add several zeros, move your decimal to, so it's 0 0.0925 times 325. This is what you put in your calculator. 0 0.0925 times $325 is $30.06. tax, okay, on the phone. Circle all strategies you understand. So this is your job. Do you understand double number line, junking, multiplying by a fraction like here, multiply by a decimal like here, or using your calculator? So that's the page 17. So you give an indication what you like best. Obviously, most of you will say using a calculator. That's what I'm thinking. And we're stopping here. For lesson two, thank you for participating. Have a good day.